And now to finally cut into well, that one. What, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Hot Dead World Life. Today we're going to be reviewing the new, um, it's called the Italian Cheesy Bread from Burger King. Uh, it's about $4 or $5. Might be, might even be three. Sometimes you can buy it for three. Never had it before. Uh, it's pretty good though, I think. Uh, I'm going to cut it real quick. You know how it is. You got your knife in your car and it's covered in cheese sauce. And God damn, it's hot in this car. I wish I had air conditioning. I'm sweating like a pig. I only got one of these. So I'm going to compare the size when I get another one next time. It doesn't make sense to do a sample, uh, three at the same time or whatever. Because all you're doing is you're testing that one employee's accuracy. You're not checking the overall store accuracy. So we'll be doing that later. You can't do that now. you got to wait for a different shift. Maybe even go to a different store. You gotta check it in between stores because all he's doing is, you know, all you're doing is you're testing out one store. You can't do that. Uh, I know it sounds like I've opened like three boxes at this point, but trust me, I just bought one. Uh, we're gonna be doing a taste review test. Uh, 10 out of 10 means I'm gonna shove the last piece up my ass. Anything below a nine? I'm gonna commit hard carry with this knife covered in pizza stuff. All right. So let's get this thing on the road. It, it's recording. Um, I am going to text your phone a number here. If you could go ahead and send me a picture of your face, your elbows, and your knees to that address right there, in conjunction with your, um, can I get your PIN number for your bank card? I mean, what for? The 80381. Uh, no, I mean, why would you need, why do you need access for that? Like, it's... Simply to run the premiums, you're going to show a refund, of course, obviously, because your premiums are crazy. Where have you been getting your premiums from? I got mine in the marketplace on the website that I was, I talked to someone, I mean, some, some agent or something, I, I chatted with them. And... Right, in general, like, you know, we work a lot with car insurance, health insurance, any kind of premiums really is what we're interested here at the Department of Savings. Um, if I could go ahead and get that social security number from you now, that $664 will arrive to you in cash over the mail. Snail mail, unless you would like to pay extra for it to get sent overnight. Man, I hate when they uh, do that. I, I mean, they should have, they should already have my information. I'm just, I'm looking at what we threw here. This is what I got sent for me. Well, don't you guys have it in your database already? I mean, I, I... All right, let me look, let me look it up here. It says here, your mother's name is Craig? No, that's my father's name. Are you sure? Because I'm seeing your father's name is Can Rosemary. I ask your name, sir? My name is Kent Khaki. Kent, okay, Kent, um, do you have someone like a, like a supervisor I can speak to, or... Just, oh, of course, of course. I'm just curious. I just, I'm just, you know, a little bit concerned about the legitimacy hey. of this whole thing. You know, these days you get all kinds of calls and Oh, no, I, and, I understand. I mean, no, it's nothing against you, and I, I, I appreciate you trying to help me out here, and I'm happy to talk here. You know, I was just about to take a big bite of my, uh, this wedding cake here that's left over. Uh, I was just... Oh, congratulations on the wedding. No, <laughs> thank you. It was very fun. It wasn't... I did not get married, actually, but uh, it was... It was uh, well, I know your new wife played Cotton Eye Joe, and I love that song. Like, you know, I, right? It's not a wedding without Cotton Eye Joe. I mean, it's just you got to be at a wedding. You're like, what are they gonna be playing Cotton Eye Joe? Cotton Eye Joe, and, and uh, I, I completely understand or jump your on hesitation. It. Um, it, you know, this other classic. If they don't play Jump on it, what kind of wedding are you at? Well, it's fun at weddings. You gotta have you know, a wedding cake. Fun. You gotta have, you know, Jump on it. You gotta have Cotton Eye Joe and a bride oh, and a groom. I know. I'm right there with you. Bride and right groom, of course. But, uh, yeah, can you get someone on the? Can you, could you pass them Yeah, on? whatever happened to the chicken dance? You remember the chicken dance? That used to be so fun at weddings. And I'd be happy to put you through to my supervisor. Just if you could give me right quick before we go that just real quick that pin number. Uh, 
Just after I speak with them, thank you. All right, I'm putting you through to them now. Uh, hello, this is Donna Rudolph, the supervisor at uh, the Savings, the Department of Savings. And uh, what seems to be the problem here that you uh, need a supervisor on the call? Uh, hi, Mr. Rudolph. I was just, you know, confirming the legitimacy. Oh, please call me Donner. Mr. Rudolph is my father's name. Okay, uh, Donner. <laughs> nice to meet you. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me. I was just making sure that this wasn't some kind of, uh, you know, some... I just I want to make sure that this whole thing was actually um, legal and... I actually can't get these savings, and I was just a little bit confused because they should have some of my information that the, your associate was asking for, so. Well, yeah, some of the information we have is just a little blurry, so we need to confirm it, you know? A little blurry? Um, yeah, it's just a little blurry, you know? We're, we're transitioning to all digital now, so we kind of, we're looking through the old paper records, you know? Sorry for the inconvenience, but we do have $664 cash right here. So, I mean, the sooner we can get the information... I thought I was saving that money. It, and that wasn't like you're actually giving me cash. You're going to you're gonna actually give me cash? Well, I guess that the money is sitting right here just as kind of a motivator. You know what I mean? If you if we for talk you about this money... For you or for me? I mean, for you. It's a motivator for you when I tell you, like, look at this cash. It's like a pile of 20s. It's pretty tall. But we're you on know. the phone. Yeah, but when I describe the cash to you, it's kind of a... Uh, Let's you know what's at stake here. You can see the money, and you just talk about the money, so it's helping me? Yeah, uh, what would really help us would be...